people could get a message out to millions of people who would listen, it would be fantastic. And he wrote what he told me he thought was his most powerful song ever. In 1991, Michael's song, Heal the World, was released, and he donated millions to environmental and children's charities around the world. While Michael's affinity for children's causes was well known, he still had none of his own. That would change in 1997, when his wife, Debbie Rowe, gave birth to Prince Michael. Now he had something, you know, that was not a monkey, a real human and a baby, and it was his. His life was then complete. Bubbles never actually lived at Neverland. He was only an occasional visitor whenever Michael requested his presence. For the safety of everyone, Prince Michael especially, those visits became more infrequent. And when a chimpanzee becomes an adult at about age eight to 10, you know, they suddenly become really quite different. They're really strong now. You know, they could, you know, kill you. No longer in the lap of luxury, jet-setting across the globe and socializing with world leaders, Bubbles' descent from the A-list was rapid and steep, and Michael wouldn't be far behind. As the 90s drew to a close, Michael was powerfully rich and famous. He now had two children by his second wife, Debbie Rowe. And in 2002, his third child, Blanket, was born. Obviously, when the children came along, then, um, you know, Michael dedicated his time towards the children rather than to chimpanzees or, or, or llamas or boa constrictors or whatever. Bubbles, now sidelined, was living full-time with trainer Bob Dunn and adjusting to living in a cage. Michael was feeling the squeeze as well. His newest album, Invincible, was anything but. It was panned and sales were poor. And his personal eccentricities were seen in an increasingly unflattering light. Michael was a very loving and open person and unfortunately that left him vulnerable for people to, to see that as a weakness and to exploit that. 2004 was Michael's most difficult year, and his growing debts forced him to sell Neverland. The ranch that epitomized Jackson's juvenile extravagance is now a shadow of its former glory. Michael Jackson built all this to try and escape from reality, but in the end, he simply couldn't afford to live in a fantasy. When Bob Dunn retired from the business of training apes, Bubbles got a lucky break. He was moved to a new home in Florida. Jackson fans may remember Bubbles as Michael's cute young chimpanzee who disappeared completely from public life many years ago. This is Bubbles today. He's 26 years old and weighs nearly 200 pounds. Patty Reagan founded the Center for Great Apes in 1997 as a sanctuary for apes that had been dumped by show business. We try to put them together so that they can have a social life, they can build their own families here. So um, Bubbles is part of a family. Bubbles has been acclimated into normal chimpanzee life. Michael had planned to visit Bubbles in 2005, but he ended up not making the trip. Tragically, he would never get the chance. These will be my final show performances this will be it and when i say this is it it really means this is it my brother the legendary king of pop michael jackson passed away on thursday june 25th 2009 at 2 26 p.m suddenly bubbles was thrown back into the public eye one of the questions that came a lot to me was, have you told Bubbles? How did Bubbles react? Is Bubbles sad? Well, Bubbles has not really seen Michael for five to seven or eight years, and so he's not been part of his daily activity. I think that if he had been there and been around him, he would definitely realize the loss. 
We had over a hundred contacts from around the world for film crews that wanted to come in and film Bubbles, take photos of him. We turned everybody down. With Bubbles being pursued by the press once more, Patty decided it was time to set the record straight. This is the first time documentary cameras have been allowed to film him. Here, Nevertheless, Patty is very cautious about upsetting Bubbles. We have not shown Bubbles specifically any photos of Michael Jackson or videos. We don't know how he'll react to it. What if it did bring back memories and he suddenly, it made him feel badly? He attached to Michael. Michael was his mother figure. So to see pictures of Michael, to see video, to watch video of Michael would remind him of his earlier years. It could well disturb him. While filming this program, LaToya expressed an interest in visiting Bubbles. Patty agreed. And for the first time in more than 20 years, they will reunite. I often think about Bubbles, and I think it would be my dream to see him and wonder if he would recognize me or even know me and just see how big he's gotten or, or what he's doing, what his personality is like, the difference in what it was then and now. I don't know how Bubbles is going to react to seeing LaToya. Um, he hasn't seen her for 20 years, is what I've been told. But I think that he, if he does recognize her, he may not show the reaction. He may just uh, walk away. He, he may display like he does with other visitors. Adult chimpanzees perform a display when they meet someone, and Bubbles is no exception. LaToya is on her way to Florida. It's only been 10 months since Michael passed away. And LaToya is coming to terms with that. The visit with Bubbles may give her some closure. I, mean, I am a bit nervous about it, but I just, I can't wait to take pictures with him. After traveling 3,000 miles, LaToya and her entourage arrive at the Center for Great Apes. Hello, how are Hi. you? But before LaToya gets to see Bubbles again, she is warned it might not be the affectionate reunion she expects. Bubbles has a unique feature. He will get a mouthful of water sometimes, and he'll spit it at people that are new, that are visiting. Yes, so you might get a little shower from Bubbles. Where did he adopt that from? Because he didn't do that before. Well, he was a baby then, and I think it is one way he can get a reaction. And that's the most interesting thing, because generally people will yell and jump back or laugh. And, of course, that just seals the deal. Sometimes he's a gentleman, but I just Jeez. want to prepare you. If he does that, the best thing to do is just kind of turn away and not don't try not to make a big deal out of it. Don't make a big deal of it. <laughs> okay. And we'll step, step Is it very forceful? No, it's just some... Just um, a little bit, yeah? yeah. Just a okay, little good. Bit. So, I'm glad you um, told me that. Yeah, so he'll... I can't wait to see him. How will Bubbles react when he meets LaToya? And what memories will be evoked when she sees Bubbles again? It's been 20 years since LaToya Jackson has seen the playful chimpanzee her brother Michael adored. This is Stryker. Hi, Stryker. Bubbles used to have that energy. Well, he's five years old. He's so five? Yes, yeah, so he's about the same age probably. Yes, when I saw the him last time you saw yes, Bubbles. Yes, and that's the, that's the size. And here is Bubbles. Oh, my. And I think we'll... Um, <gasps> Hi, Bubbles. What are you hiding in your mouth? Hi, Bubbles. Hi. Oh, so, oh look at. Is you want to come a little bit? Yeah, you can come closer. Is something in his mouth? Uh, let's see. Have you got some water? How you doing, sweetie? What's in your mouth? You swallow that? Oh, look at. He you looks incredible. It? Isn't he beautiful? He looks incredible. Bubbles, hi. Do you remember me? Bubbles? Hi, Bubbles. Look at him. Isn't he a cutie? Bubbles. Bubbles. Look who's Bubbles. Here. Hi. Hi. I want to touch him. <laughs> oh, he might be spitting. I think he is That's it. That's all right. He's getting ready to do it, yes? Can you show me what's in your mouth? Bubbles, what's in your mouth? 
He wants Bubbles, some open your mouth. Margaret's. Open your mouth. He yeah. wants to put water on me. Okay, I think he swallowed it. Yes, I think he did too. Open. One thing that Bubbles really likes to do is play in the hose. Do you want a drink? 